Hey guys, what's going on? DuffKing56 here, back in the world of Scribblenauts, and welcome, welcome back. We are back here to continue with our object shards, and look what we're up next. Food, we've already done the first one accidentally, inadvertently, last time when we cracked the egg on the sun, or, well, to create the chick, we cracked the egg, but we have plenty to do. We have 28 more of them to do. As you can see, I'm still dressed up from last time, so enjoy my little costume here for you guys. We are going to continue with our first one. We have to make buttered bread here, and we have to combine that with, well, you'll see. As you can see, we're going to combine it with a cat. Let's do it. How do you combine buttered bread with a cat? I'm not sure, but we're gonna figure it out. Let's make a let's make a stove so we can cook them up together. We're gonna empty it. Did it work? No, it didn't. How do you combine something with something else? How do you combine combiner? Let's make a combiner. Let's that'll work. No, that obviously did not work. Although we can make a comb over, I don't think that would help either. But we had to make a, a bread cat. Let's just make a bread cat. Let's see if that works. A bear cat. Yes, that works. No, it does not, actually. Let's make a cat again. How do you combine it with bread? I'm confused. That's not fun. Why do you make me do these things? Let's see, what is it? Combine an object that always lands butter side down with an object that always lands on its feet. So, let's make toast instead, possibly. Let's see if that works. No! Stove. Let's try this. We're gonna cook them. We're gonna cook them together. That should work. Please be done. Come on. Nope. It didn't work. Butter. Oh, we should probably make it buttered. Make it buttered toast. There we go. Okay. Why doesn't that work? That's, that's infuriating. That is mentally infuriating. Anyways. We need to do other things. I'll come back to it when I figure out. Let's do cheese. We have to make chess. Ha! We have to make grilled cheese. So we're going to make grilled bread here. We're going to try to combine it with the cheese. And we're going to make some more grilled bread. We're going to put it on top. We made ourselves a grilled cheese. How beautiful is that? That did not work. Okay. How am I going to be combining these things together? I have no idea. Can we make... I didn't... Oopsies. I wanted to... Can we make a bowl? Can we combine them in a bowl? Can we make cheese here and grilled bread in here? And then can we mix them? Oops, I didn't mean to fill the lamp with them. That didn't work. How, how are we going to be doing this? I haven't, like, cooked anything in this game. I don't know if you can cook things in this game. Ugh. This isn't good, man. Not cool, I do have to say. I don't want this lamp in my face anymore. So, let's do some of the other ones. Let's make an ice cream maker. We have to interact with it. This should be pretty easy. We're gonna make ourselves some ice cream. There we go, as you can see, an ice cream spat out of it. So, that one is done. There are, there are other ones that are a lot easier than these combination ones here. So, I'm gonna work on those. Uh, and we'll work on the combo ones a little bit later. Let's make ourselves a dining table. And we have to combine it with something that holds gravy. And that would be a sauce boat, if you've ever heard of that before. I did not. But you have to combine it with the dining table. Good gravy indeed. We have finished that one. Now, we have to make another one, which is kind of cheeky. We have to make a kid. A male. We'll make a male kid, because, of course, you know, I'm, I'm sexist and all that, but... We'll make an ice cream truck. And we combine them both. And this kid should get his freaking ice cream. Let's make an ice cream man. There you go. Now we got things going here. Did that work? No, I don't want you riding in it. That's kind of weird. Okay, we'll drive away with the kid. No, we don't want to do that. We're going to dismount. Dismount. You get in there. Play the music. No, no, no. I want to play the music. Can you play the music from here? No, cannot. Does this work now? Let's dismount you. Let's put you in the back. Would this work? No. Hungry female. Please work. Oh, come on. Seriously? That's what it says in the object shard. Oh, you're, you guys are killing me. This game is killing me, man. Let's see if we can find it here. 
Um, attract the customer by playing music. Okay, so we actually have to be in there playing music. I guess that makes sense. There we go. Beautiful. And it plays the Scribblenauts theme, which is kind of weird also, but okay, that's fine. Um, we're going to do another one here. We're going to make a baby, right? We're going to give it a lollipop. I think I spelled that wrong. Lollipop. I did spell it right. I just forgot to hit the P with my pinky. And guess what you have to do? Yep. You have to steal candy from a baby. We're not even going to let the kid have a chance to cry because that would be so super sad. And we are done with that one. Stealing candy from a baby is no good. Let's make ourselves a spice rack for this next one. We're going to make a spice itself and put it in the spice rack. That's one thing. And now we have to make salt. And we have to make pepper. And we have to put them together. And then you have salt. And pepper. Beautiful. So, we're talking about our condiments here on Scribble Knots, And we have basically done it for that matter. Now, let's make ourselves a cookie jar. And one thing we have to do the cookie jar is steal the cookies. So you have to empty the cookie jar. Who me? It couldn't be. That is exactly the rhyme that you heard and recited as a child. Yes, you, the person I'm talking to right now. Let's make ourselves a gumball machine here. And I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of, I want to chew things. So a gumball would be perfect. Choose wisely, indeed. Oh, we can't even, we can't even chew bubble gum in this game. That is kind of interesting here. But anyways, let's make ourselves a honey badger. And this one's kind of cheeky, if you guys didn't know. Let's make some honey. And we're going to put it right next to you. Here, take your honey, honey badger. Beautiful. Okay, you're done. I don't need you around me. But now, I need you around me to give you some honey. So here you go. Have some honey, bear. Winnie the Pooh, indeed. Oh, bother. That is a Winnie the Pooh thing, if you did not know. So that one is done. Now, we have to make ourselves a shopping cart here. We have to go shopping. So we're definitely going to do that. But we have to put a few things in our shopping cart. We have to put some cereal in there. A tomato in there. Oopsies, I cannot spell. There we go, because I'm typing too fast. And we're gonna we're gonna ride the cart. We need a cash register. Register. We're gonna throw you over here. And we're gonna ride it to the cash register. Price check on register one indeed. Okay, so that one is done. I'd be kind of cool to fly around with the cart for the whole LP if I knew you could have done that. But anyways, we're gonna make a root beer float. Make some root beer, make some ice cream, and we are gonna combine the two. To make a root beer float. Why didn't that work? That's kind of dumb, isn't it? Root beer. Oopsies. There we go. Try that one. Nope. Same thing. How do you combine something with something else if it's not combinable? Let's pick it up. Hmm. How do you do that? Huh. How about just a root beer... Root beer float. Would that work? I wish that was kind of the shortcut that you could do here, but I guess not. So let's make root beer again. But you can't like pour it, and that's what bothers me. Let's make a bowl here. We'll make ice cream. And we'll put everything in the bowl again. We'll fill it with the root beer. We'll pick up the bowl. Can we shake it? Let's empty it. No, we should have root beer. I don't know. I don't know the combination system in this game. I didn't know you could combine two things there. That's kind of weird. So I'm going to put a check near there. But now we have to make some dough. We're going to make some cookies and make a rolling pin. And we have to interact with the dough with the rolling pin. So let's flatten it. Beautiful. They see me rolling. They hating. I don't know the rest of the lyrics or else I would have made a cooking pun from that. So I apologize. But we need to toast some bread. We're going to make some toast here. Make some bread. And we're going to put you in the toaster. Fill it. And we got some toast. There we go. Okay, I'd like to make toast indeed. Okay, so let's make some cheese. And see if we can combine it with the bread to make grilled cheese. Because that would make sense. But I guess not. Mmm. Let's, let's try the cat one one more time. Let's make this buttered. We'll make a cat. Oh, let's do, the, let's do that. No, no, no. We'll empty it. Why can't they be combined? Combine yourself, cat. Ugh. That's so weird. I'm going to have to figure that one out myself as well. But we did the bread and the toaster one. That's good. 
Now we need to mash some potatoes. Potato. And potato masher. That is our next task here. Mash this gosh darn potato. Ugh! I think therefore I yam. I yam what I yam. That one's done. Cross that one off the list. Now we have to make a food dehydrator. I'm kind of doing these out of order, so they're kind of like here and there. But we're going to make a food dehydrator. We're going to take some fruit here. Fruit, if I could spell it correctly. Oh, that, that's just not even good there. Let's see if we can... Oh, I got an achievement for using the item suggester. Uh, but there we go. Put the fruit in there. And we're going to... Did that work? Let's make a banana. Put the banana in there. We're going to empty it. Good, we have dried fruit now. I didn't know that you could actually, like, people actually liked to dry fruit, but it's, like, really good for trail mix type stuff from what I remember. But anyways, let's make a waffle maker here. And we have to interact with it to make some waffles. That's one for the breakfast club. The next one is we have to make some coffee. So let's make a coffee maker. And we can make some coffee here. We're going to try to rifle through this. There we go, perfect, because we we're wasting stupid time trying to combine stuff. We still don't even know how to do it. But I guess that's okay. We're done with that one. And this one's kind of a tongue-in-cheek with Monty Python here. So let's make a mailbox. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a coconut in it. I, I really had to say it like coconut. That's kind of terrible. But oh well. We're going to fill it with a coconut. And express delivery. Indeed, we got ourselves a nice coconut delivered by mail. But really, how fast can a bird handle... Or, or swallow, if you will, take a coconut. But anyways... We have to make some garlic, which this, I have to say, is one of my personal favorite. We're going to make some french fries. We're going to make garlic fries. Why can't I combine them? Let's... Can we... Knife. Let's chop the garlic. I guess that didn't work now, did it? We have to make garlic french fries. And how the hell do you combine garlic combinable garlic? Combinable. Let's try... Oh, combine. Oh, really? That's how you do that? Oh, boy. I can't believe that I did not figure that out. You guys are probably screaming at me. So let's just do the root beer and the ice cream while I'm at it. You just have to pick one up, I believe. And then you click on the other and you combine it. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to be able to continue through this now a lot easier than I thought of here. So let's make a rubber chicken and a rubber duck and we have to combine these two i have no idea what i'm combining these two to, to be but we're going to combine them oh rubber turduncan beautiful how did i not think of that i'm going to bounce away that is just terrible okay let's give ourselves a cookie cutter here and we're going to make some cookie dough as well and we're going to be able to cut up some cookie dough and make some cookies i love it i really love cookies there you go you want you want to you want a straight way to my heart, man? Bake me some snickerdoodles better than my mother can, because if you can do that, then you, sir, and or madam, have won yourself a a heart, if you will. Anyways, we have some butter bread here. We're kind of going to combine it here. We're going to make ourselves a bread cat. And that's exactly what we were going to do before. We now have a bread cat. Oh, cat toast paradox. Okay, enjoy. We're going to put the Dirt Duncan in there. We're going to put everything in this paradox. Beautiful. What is this called? A buttered black hole. Beautiful. That is uh, silliness, if I do say so myself. We already dealt with black holes episode before. Oh, well, two episodes, actually, before this. Now we're going to make ourselves some grilled cheese. So let's make grilled bread and cheese. Hopefully this works. And we should make ourselves some awesome grilled cheese, if I do say so myself. Combine that. The ultimate food, indeed. Put it in tomato soup, and it tastes like pizza, from what I hear. Now we're going to make ourselves an angel and some angel food cake we're going to combine these two and then that'll be our second our, our penultimate one if you do, if you do if i do say heavenly dessert indeed enjoy yourself we're gonna make a devil hopefully these guys don't fight it out you're gonna attack me too that's fine because i'll give you a devil food cake and you should be happy and you should be good to go no 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 there good so good it's bad beautiful okay cool so we did those two and I believe we just have one more left. Yes, we do. We have to make a cake. It's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake. I shouldn't be singing. And we're going to make ourselves a cake stand. Something to hold the said cake. Put that on the cake stand. And you can have your cake and display it too. 
And that should be it, man. Let's check if I missed anything here. It doesn't look like it, but I also could have missed something just so simply. I bet you I missed one. Let's check it out here. Yeah, 28 out of 29. I guess I missed one when I was writing them down here. Oh, yes! I forgot to write this one down. We have to use a pestle. Oopsies. I can't spell, can I? We have a pestle here, and we have to make a mortar container. Exactly. Oh, you can make a mortar as a weapon. That's kind of funny. And let's put an herb in there. And we're going to grind them up. Put in the... We're going to use a, use a pestle and a mortar to grind it. Ground to dust. What did we make here? Cornmeal. Interesting. I didn't know that there was already corn in a mortar. But that's okay. We did the pestle and the mortar. We've also completed the food object shards. So that is another one down. Another one bites the dust. Please feel free to join me next time. So that we can complete the object shards that have to do with vehicles. And this one might be kind of annoying, even though we've already done one. So I will catch you guys later. Hope you have a great night. This has been DuffKing56. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye. And with that, we come to the conclusion of another episode of our Let's Play of Scribblenauts. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. You can check out either link to your left or your right. It will take you to the previous or the next video. And hopefully you guys have a great night. This has been DuffKing56. I will see you guys later. Peace out, guys. Bye.